In this video we're going to show you how to install and go through the basic settings of BB Press. So BB Press, and you can check their website out at any time on bbpress.org, is basically just forum software built on top of WordPress. And it's actually really, really good if you want to get a simple forum up and running on your website. So uh, what we're going to do is just show you how to install it first. And naturally the procedure is no different from installing any plugin at all. Uh, you just need to go into your dashboard, search for the plugin name that you're after, um, assuming that you don't want to actually be uploading that plugin to your website. And here we can see we have BB Press in the search results. So I hit install now and click OK. And just as always, WordPress will go and download that and it's ready for us to activate. And when it activates, you'll see a screen that's probably really familiar to you, you know, if you've been using WordPress for a little while now and you update sites uh, regularly. Uh, this is very, very similar to the WordPress, you know, uh, welcome to WordPress uh, screen that you get. And what this does, it goes through just what's included in the current version of BB Press. So if you're not familiar with it, you may wish to actually read through this. Uh, otherwise, there's a couple of things that I'd like to point out. And that's over on the left hand side in the menu bar there, we have three new options. We have forums, topics and replies. And we can go through those at any time. We will do so later in order to show you how you can manage a forum. Uh, but there's also settings available for us as well. So what we can do is just click on go to forum settings here, uh, down the bottom of that welcome page. And we've just got a few settings to go through here. So we've got the ability to disallow editing of posts after say five minutes, for instance. This is a good thing to have because if you allow people to edit their posts, say, an hour, two hours, three hours after uh, they first made that post, they may actually change that and you know people could use that to their advantage to uh, do unsavory things with their time on the internet but you know, as always that's, uh, that's up to you to choose how you'd like it. Uh, the next option is to throttle posting so users can only post once every 10 seconds. That's a very good thing to have on and 10 seconds is a reasonable amount of time as well because this will help prevent spam on your website. Here you can see we've also got the ability to establish anonymous posting. So if you'd like people to be able to participate in a forum without having an account, you want to turn that on. And now we just have the ability to give automatic or to automatically give any registered users the participant role on the forum. And do note that the roles on the forums are separate to the WordPress user roles. Thereafter, we've just got a few options that we can toggle on and off for the forum features. So if you'd like people to have re the ability to have revisions of whatever they're putting on the forum, favorites, uh, to subscribe, tags, and you know have a forum-wide search and so on, you can choose all of those here. And this is something that you might or might not find handy is reply threading. So on a forum, typically, if you were to reply to someone, you would quote them and then submit your reply after that. But when you enable threading, and you can enable it up to 10 levels deep, uh, you can actually allow people to reply in line to various posts on the topic. So again, as always, it's up to you to have that there. And then we've just say how many topics and replies per page and per RSS page we'd like. Thereafter, we've got the forum root slug. So if you would like, and as it does suggest, you can actually use a WordPress page and short codes for more flexibility in this regard, if you'd prefer to have it set up a little bit different. Uh, but for the most part, you know, you can use that just as, as you would like. And thereafter, you've just got some more information on slugs and, you know, they're up for you to really go through and figure out what you'd like in terms of your setup for your website. But, you know, for most people using the defaults is fine. And just like when it comes to learning anything new, the best way to figure out how to do things is by trying them. So we're just going to hit save changes now. So that's all done. So what I want to do is I want to just check to see if our forums are running. So we gave this slug forums before and there we go. So our forums are up and running. We can use edit here because this just appears as a post. We can go into our test forum, which is one that I've uh, already created. It shows who's involved, their account, you know, when it was last done and you know, you can reply here or sorry, I should say you can create a new topic here, but you know, you can go into this topic here and reply and we will just say, uh, you know, this is an example of threaded replying.
And there we go. So hopefully that gives you an idea of BB Press and what you can achieve with it. It's pretty straightforward. It's very powerful and easy to use. So, you know, definitely give it a go if you need to set up a forum on your website and just make the most of it.